Hello guys, Rachel here of Archaeologists. Today, we're going to do the short unboxing and also reviewing the Site Fuma 3 air cooler. Let's do the unboxing. Inside the box, you will find the Case Flex 2 Slim Fan, a box that contains the screwdriver, the user's manual, the Intel backplate, spacers, brackets, screws, thermal grease, fan clips, and a fan splitter, and lastly, the Site Fuma 3 air cooler itself. Let's go to the specifications and features. The Site Fuma 3 has dimensions of 138 by 128 by 154 millimeters and a weight of 1095 grams. The Fuma 3 is the newest update to the Fuma series of air coolers from Site. At the top is a cover that is made from hard plastic with the Site logo. This also covers the heat pipes to make it look neat. This is a dual tower cooler. The front though is slimmer than the back heat sink for the purpose of ensuring that it won't hit the memory modules. The heat sink has a curvature on the design to give it a modern look and not just a plain box looking heat sink. The Fuma 3 uses 6 copper heat pipes, with each of the heat pipes having a diameter of 6 millimeters. This air cooler uses the HPM S5 or Hyper Precision Mounting System 5 to have a more optimal contact pressure for the latest CPU socket types. The base plate is made from copper with a nickel finish. Also, you can install the cooler even though it has a fan at the center by just inserting the included screwdriver in this curved cutout to access the screws. The back heat sink also has a cutout to be able to give clearance for the memory modules. For the fans, it has two types, the Case 2 Slim and the Case 2. The Case 2 Slim is 15mm in height and is sturdy but then bent in the middle. It has rubber pads at all the corners on both sides. It has a maximum speed of 1500 RPM and a maximum airflow of 39.44 CFM. It can be connected using the 4-pin fan connector. The Case 2 is your normal fan that is also sturdy and bends in the middle. It also has rubber pads at all corners on both sides. It has a maximum speed of 1,500 RPM and a maximum airflow of 67.62 CFM. This can be connected through the 4-pin fan connector. If you also notice that both fans have different directions for the fan blades. This is because Site wants to implement a reverse jet flow to create a more stable airflow and high static pressure. Let's install the air cooler. Here are my final thoughts. The Site Fuma 3 is looking nicer and neater compared to the Site Fuma 2 Rev V. 
but is not the biggest update based on performance as it has difference of 2 degrees on loaded temps. But then again, aesthetics-wise, it is much more pleasing to look at and better looking air cooler. Performance-wise, it competes with the bigger coolers and still performs quietly too. It's not the best, but it is above average. Installation-wise, it was still easy, and you can just follow the step-by-step -step process in the user's manual without any confusion if you are just a newbie to installing your own cooler. The build quality is also good. But the top cover is not that good as it moves easily from side to side with minimal force. But overall, it is good. Overall, the Site Fuma 3 is a good performing cooler with value for money, as it has a good pricing that performs well and is good to look at for any builds in mind. You can buy the Site Fuma 3 for around $49.99 or 2,750 pesos at your nearest site affiliated online and physical stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, Click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page and see you in the next video.